Hello, you beautiful souls. My name is Barrett Perlman, and I am a psychedelic guide as well as a five dimensional healer. Today, I want to talk to you about my experiences with Bufo, aka 5MEO DMT. It's um, psychedelic medicine, and um, I just had my first experience with it this past weekend. So, for starters, wow. If you get an opportunity to do Bufo, definitely do Bufo. Um, Bufo comes from a toad called the Bufo alvarius. I could possibly be messing that up, um, but I'll put the name right here. And um, yeah, it's a secretion that comes off the toad and then it's put on a device in a vial and lit on fire and smoked. So, wow, um, each experience lasts about five to 10 minutes, I believe, for each person. Um, so I started with a fairly big dose for my first time because I am a pretty experienced psychonaut. And wow, um, it starts to kick in within about 15 to 20 seconds. And the feeling of love just starts to radiate everywhere um, from the inside out, almost like cosmic waves of energy that start to surround you. They surrounded me in this yellow, orange, green light. And from there, I just remember feeling this, this sigh escape my body of my, from like my, my Kundalini line, my chakra line, the inner depths of my soul, right? Um, sighed. And for me, that was most of the last of what I remember from the first time, um, and I think, you know, it was described to me that I moved around a lot <laughs> when I came to, there was definitely like, like wetness places. And I was like, did I vomit on myself? And no, I didn't vomit on myself, but I certainly drooled a lot. Um, one of the facilitators described it to me as very, um, infant like behavior, very, uh, infant like movements and motions and, um, it just, it for me felt like I, I felt so much connection to the universe. Um, I immediately felt that sense of, I am everything. I am all things almost like, like my soul got dissolved back into the universe in this loving embraced way. And then when I was reconstructed, I got to walk away with the memory of what that feels like because it's so beautiful. Um, and so I sort of came back to and felt this deep sense of relaxation, just ancient, archaic relaxation. Um, and then I got to do a, a second dose that was apparently a little smaller. And um, again, just saw these waves of yellow, orange, green. Like, I don't know why it had to be those colors or why nothing on the, the red, blue, purple spectrum was there. Um, but then at some point through it, I sort of regained my default mode network, my consciousness and realized that I could feel the energy. I could sense the energy and maybe I could send it as a, as a healer, maybe I could send it places and try to work on my shoulder. There's always stuck stuff stuck in my shoulder. Um, and, and so then my, my come down off that one was a bit more abrupt. Like it was sort of all of a sudden just like, okay, you're here. Like you tried to do too much. <laughs> Whereas the, the come down on the first dose was um, much more beautiful and much more like I got a chance to flutter my eyes open but close them again and it just lean back into it, just being held in every single beautiful way. So, yeah, Bufo really uh, feels like it changes everything. Um, I had heard some other people describe to me, you know, they consider taking Bufo for your first time, your awakening. And I would have argued that I'm already pretty woke, right? Like I um, lead psilocybin ceremonies, I've done ayahuasca and I've done DMT. Um, but this was just sort of, they were right. Like you get these things afterwards called reactivations. Um, and I don't know that they necessarily happen as long as mine did. so. So later that night, I actually had to hold the psilocybin ceremony for someone. And I had been warned that I might be reactivated on the psilocybin, but for like 10 minutes. 
Um, but instead, the entire time I was on mushrooms, I was reactivated. And then I even took more after the ceremony was over so that I could sit in this space by myself. And the things that I discovered then, that the universe showed me then, this just rapidly expand on the experience I had in the actual ceremony. Um, I got to, to toy with the veil between life and death and really realize that there, there is no death. It's all just energy constantly existing. Um, gosh, I got to, to karmically, energetically make love to a friend's soul in the most beautiful of ways that brought just these tears as our souls combined in this cosmic love and this destiny that we're, we're here together on this planet. Um, you know, and it, it just, it's so much deeper than romantically desiring someone or, or not, you know, just, um, that was really incredible. And then there was this deep sense of peace that I've never experienced before. And this deep sense of there's more than enough time that, and normally I'm the kind of person who's like, doesn't have enough time all the time. <laughs> and so it was very cool to, to go around the next day and just exist with plenty of time for everything. Almost like I slowed time down. Um, and gosh, I would love to live in that space all the time. And then there was also the sense of um, feeling everything around me. So I was standing outside of my apartment building, right? And feeling, I could just feel through the back, like all of the apartments around me, all of the grass, all of the birds, all of the things. Um, and when I was driving as well to go see a massage client that day, it just could feel every car on the highway. I could feel every movement before someone made it. And that was incredibly profound. Um, I would love to, to stay in that space more um, and see. I, it's fascinating. So I'm, I'm two days out from having done the bufo, and I can't wait to see what more comes, but that is my experience with it. And I hope that if you get the opportunity that you say yes because this is so far the most loving medicine I've ever encountered. Um, it's not quite like psilocybin where you're going to have a lot of thoughts and dialogues around what you're encountering. And um, psilocybin is also very, very loving, but it may force you to look at things that you might not be ready to, or you might not want to, and you know, having to lean into those and embrace them is what prevents uh, challenging trips. This was just purely, purely love on another level and a familiar place, a familiar love. So check it out. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments box.